Hello, my lovely Aquarians. How are you? Welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope all of you are well. Okay. Let's see what we get for the Aquarians. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter. Let's go ahead and pray over the deck. This is for May and June of 2024. All right. First card, second card, third card, fourth card. I think we got it. Yep. Let's get the clarifiers. Get your major arcanas. There's May. And there is June. Okay, Aquarius, what do we have going on with you? First card out is Six of Cups. Soulmate energy. Um, maybe right person, wrong time. Uh, this could be where you are in a soulmate relationship, but it's like you're seeing the worst of each other. You trade off seeing the worst within one another and bringing out that darkness so that it can be addressed, it can be healed, it can be dealt with. Yeah, this is a very right person, wrong time type of energy here. And, you know, someone really, really may be showing themselves um, the darker aspects of themselves, you know, manipulation, coercion, um, maybe being influenced by others that are not good for you, Aquarius, or maybe you're not good for someone else because maybe you've got a dark side that you're dealing with right now. But why is the energy here? Two of Swords. Not making a decision. Keeping something at bay or not looking at something clearly. Knowing the truth of a situation but not addressing it, not taking care of it, not acting upon it. This could be a stalemate. So if you had a stalemate in a situation, it may have had something to do with a soulmate bond or a soulmate relationship. Someone may have told you, Aquarius, you're my soulmate. And I hate that crap. I hate that crap. Because it's just fluff. I feel like we're soulmates. I feel like we're soulmates. Yeah, okay. 
What's the next card? King of Wands. This is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter king. It is a masculine energy. Remember, the kings also rule the mutable signs. So who is the mutable signs with the kings? That would be Sagittarius. What is the sign before Sagittarius? Scorpio. So this is an Aries, a Leo, a Sag, or a Scorpio individual. A king, a masculine. Let's see what's going on inside his mind. Let's see what uh, energy he's coming forward with. I'm not going to say anything right now. That's exactly what he's thinking like right now. Like I'm I literally just heard him say this. I'm not going to say anything right now. I'm not going to I'm not going to approach the subject. I'm not going to say anything right now. I'm I'm not going to let this get to me. Um I'm not going to say that the indecision was my fault. I'm not going to say that there was some sort of realization that I had in this relationship. And see, that's the thing. I think what we're going to find out is that the King of Wands, because of his indecision, because of him telling people what they wanted to hear, he caused, he actually caused someone to show their dark side. Isn't it fascinating what happens when people get gaslit and people don't take accountability for their actions? It's cause, um, it's called, um, oh, what is it called? It's when people with narcissistic traits blame the other person for their infidelity or for their mistakes or for their not feeling well or what it could be anything, um, it's what the, the victim goes through. It's called, um, it's not victim blame. It might be victim blaming, but that, that's not what it's called. Um, I'll think of it. I'll think of it. But see, what happens is someone has their reality questioned. And they know what their reality is. They know what their feelings are. But someone with narcissistic traits or someone with um, gaslighting tendencies makes that person feel like, no, 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 you, you, you've got this reality wrong. That's not the reality of the situation. No, 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 no. Not only is that not the reality of the situation, it's your fault. I mean, it's just, it's the most diabolical of ways to uh, protect one's um, ego. But I think we're going to find out about this. Because this King of Wands is not saying anything right now. And I think this King of Wands knows that by his inaction or his indecision, someone started questioning their reality and it drove them mad. Maybe for a phase in their life or a period of time. But see, what the King of Wands does in this case 
what he does is because he gaslights and because he makes people question their reality and because he's, um, he's blaming others, inevitably they go mad. They go like what guys call uh, women who do this, they call them psycho, right? Now, some truly are psycho, absolutely. But those that are generally calm, put together, and all of a sudden they, their reality is being questioned, they're being gaslit, they're being told, you're the one with the problem, they're being told, you know, get, get the hell out of this apartment, it's all your fault, when that person didn't do anything. But... wanting to clear up the reality of what it was they were seeing or their perception. This can happen. But let's see why the King of Wands is not saying anything right now. Eight of Cups. He's not saying anything right now because he doesn't want any drama. This may have had something to do with travel. So interesting. A lot of these cards coming up. We're doubling up with uh, Capricorn here. So there's some cross-contamination with Capricorn. Or cross-referencing. I don't want to say contamination. That's a bad word. Cross-referencing with Capricorn. But so the Eight of Cups is walking away. The Eight of Cups is leaving a situation. The Eight of Cups is... Uh, moving. The Eight of Cups is travel. The Eight of Cups is looking for the Ninth Cup. Um, and that is the reason the King of Wands didn't say anything. I'm just not going to say anything right now. So they held back. So this person continually, they continually questioned their reality over and over and over and over. And it would have just been easier for the King of Wands to just say, can we talk? But the, a lot of the reason why this happens, especially with narcissistic individuals or those with narcissistic traits, they don't say anything and they don't talk and they keep it to themselves so that as the other person starts to question their reality and they... They start being a little bit more insistent or they start really like questioning and maybe they're a little bit more edgy. Then it's the perfect opportunity for this King of Wands person to say, oh, oh, there you go again. There you go again. You and your issues. How dare you question me? How dare you get upset by my actions? Look at you going off again, trying to control everything I do. You're just nuts. You need to get help. That is what this is. And Aquarius, I'm sorry if you went through that. It's really unfortunate. Um, it's, it's not pretty when it happens. What is the next card? But this could also be just a King of Wands traveling. An Aries, a Leo, a Sag, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Just traveling here. Just traveling. In May and in June. But I have to take into consideration the prior cards. And the prior cards are telling me that someone's dark side showed up. But the reason the dark side showed up is because someone wasn't doing anything. Someone wasn't participating. They were in denial. What is the next card? The fool. God dang it, man. This fool has been coming up a lot. Somebody's mask fell off very quickly.
someone had to face their own dark side. This this fool in this card is not as happy-go-lucky as the Rider Waite, but it is looking right at the death of a situation, looking at someone's toxic and dark side. This comes out a lot at this time with the full moon in Scorpio that we just had. So someone's mask fell off. They were foolish. And they're still trying to keep that mask on a little bit, but it's, I mean, they're face to face with their own, their own toxicity. But why is the fool here? There we go again. There's the nine of cups right there. Going out, partying, drinking, bar hopping, inviting somebody over for wine. All of that. Being satiated. This is very interesting, Aquarius. You have a very similar reading to, to Capricorn right now. But um, yeah, this person just wanted to party. They wanted a party. They wanted to play single. They wanted to act a fool. And the excuse they used to do that, they made somebody question their reality by denying their wrongdoing, by hiding things from them, by keeping secrets from them. possibly related to travel, possibly related to keeping something on the inside that needed to get out in a situation. Something should have been talked about but was not. Aquarius, this could have been someone that was at a bar or at a party and they did something foolish or they took a risk. Maybe that they shouldn't have taken, but maybe that they should have taken. We'll have to clarify the fool and see how that turned out. But what's the next card? Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful, Aquarius. I love this for you. Thank God we got off we got off of this freaking mess of a reading. Ace of Pentacles, uh, an offer, a gift, value, understanding the value of something or someone, of a relationship, of a of a business uh, merger or something like that, like money, value, a new beginning in that way. But why is the Ace of Pentacles here? The King of Wands again. The King of Wands again. We got two King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter, Masculine. Someone who is this King of Wands is an entrepreneur, possibly a businessman. And he is just really, really focused on his money right now. In the month of May and June. I think there's this 
and, and I, I can't express this enough to everyone, the, the full moon in Scorpio, which happened on, when was it? I'm trying to think. It was like the 22nd or the 23rd. I can't remember. Anyway, um, the full moon in Scorpio requires for toxicity to be jettisoned from one's life. It is a toxic feminine. Does it mean that it's a, it's a female? More than likely it is, but it could be a male with a lot of feminine traits. And it looks like here, someone is still going over in their head their own foolish behavior, how they got where they got because of their own actions or inactions. And they're replaying that in their head. They're trying to remove it or get rid of it. And they're trying to look at something with a little bit more value than they have looked at it in the past, for sure. But why is this Fool card here? Seven of Cups reversed. Making a decision. Making a decision. Someone, this is going to happen two, one of two ways. Someone made a decision, like someone had an opportunity to say no to something. And they said yes to it. And they're foolish because of it. But it could also be that someone wants their wish to be granted. They want, you know, their their life to be good and fun and, you know, healthy. And they want to start out all over again. And they've decided I'm starting out all over again. We're starting from scratch. We have to. I was lazy. I was foolish. But now I understand what has real value. Strong partnerships, exclusive part partnerships, committed partnerships, partnerships that move forward, that we look at the future together, and that there is love offers between us. Sometimes it's 80-20, sometimes it's 30-70, sometimes it's 50-50. I think someone, Aquarius, is realizing the value of a committed, loyal, and exclusive union. And that there can be fun there. There can be happiness there. There can be, you know, talking about the future there. there that, that very much happens. What is your overarching energy for May? Oh, the high priestess. Gosh darn it. Here she is. This is a Pisces or an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. Their first name starts with the letters B or J, their middle name B or J, their last name B or J. And they're psychic. This is what the High Priestess is. She is a psychic. She sees things. She knows things. She feels the energy. She pulls the energy in. And she just knows what's going on. She's not stupid. She's quiet. She's contemplative. She weighs out the pros and the cons. This could be you, Aquarius. Listening to your higher self. Um, I am getting a vibe from the high priestess right now. This is really kind of strange. So just bear with me. 
<clears throat> it appears that this high priestess is overhearing a conversation and she She may be saying, and Aquarius, this could be you, because High Priestess is Aquarius as well as Pisces, but she may be thinking, how in the Sam H-E double toothpicks did they know that? How did they know? They just tapped into their psychic abilities. That's how they know. Maybe that's how you know Aquarius. How did they know that secret? How did they know that side of me that I don't even know? How are they able to tap into that? Good question. Let me know Aquarius, because you got some stuff coming up in May. And, uh, <clears throat> Secrets. The high priestess also rules secrets. So be aware of that. Don't keep secrets. You never want to do that. It will come back and bite you every time. I don't know if any of you guys listen to uh, Jordan Peterson. I do. I, I like a lot of the stuff that, that he puts out there. And he talks about where... He has never once in his practice ever seen anyone get away with anything. They've never gotten away with it. It follows them everywhere. And it doesn't mean, Aquarius, that this comes out and this the whole world hears about it. It means you can't escape it until you address it. Say that you or someone you know did something nefarious or they did something that was not very uh, appropriate or something like that. It may never come out. But it haunts that person for the rest of their life. And it manifests itself in such a way that others around them keep secrets or others around them are nefarious or others around them are doing things that are inappropriate. So that could be coming up for some of you. What is your June energy? The lovers. You got the same card for June as Capricorn did. Some of you might be uh, Capricorn Aquarius cuspers. The lovers. Now, when you put this uh, this high priestess and this lover card together, that's that's secrets in love, Aquarius. Or that could also be that you have a relationship with a high priestess, a loving and committed bond with a psychic. You could be married to a psychic. You could be in an exclusive loving relationship with a psychic or you have a psychic connection between the two of you. But you have a lot of love coming in June, Aquarius. Possibly a business, a new business partnership, a new romantic partnership. But I think for the majority of you, uh, this, is, this is a relationship you're already in. And I think one or both of you are psychic. That is what I see here. Or there could be some sort of secret coming out about a third-party interference in um, 
a love relationship. But I think that might be something that came out in the past or it happened in the past, but it's coming out now. Because again, the, the Capricorns got this and they are trying to, uh, they or someone around them are trying to do damage control. And so um, there was something where somebody got together at a bar, entertaining, at a party, you know, drinking, and somebody did something foolish. Someone should have said no, and they said yes, or someone should have said yes, and they said no, whatever that story may be for you. And so that is now coming out. So I, I would definitely listen to the Capricorn reading as well, because that may give you a little bit more information on um, what you may be dealing with here. Okay. But yeah, pretty interesting energies, guys. Pretty interesting energies. People are still dealing with the toxic feminine. They're still dealing with and the toxicity within them. Like what actions are, there, are they taking uh, to create a toxic environment around them? Or what actions are they not taking that create a toxic environment around them? That is something that's coming through here. All right, my beautiful Aquarians, I love you so much. Take care of yourselves. Much light, much love, many blessings, and catch you on the flip side.